Determinants of Consumption and Savings Today we are going to discuss in brief the concepts of consumption and savings, and also line out the relationship between these two variables according to the classical system. In the simplest model we can consider, we will assume that people do one of two things with their income, they either consume it or save it. Income equals consumption plus savings. In this simple model, it is easy to see the relationship between income, consumption, and savings. If income goes up then consumption will go up and savings will go up. Savings refer to the excess of disposable income over consumption expenditure. From a national level, the unconsumed part of the entire nation's income comprising all its members can be termed as national savings. Meanwhile, the main hypothesis of John Maynard Keynes suggested that our disposable income which can be arrived at by deducing tax liabilities from gross income influences our level of real consumption. Keynes also held the view that people tend to enhance their consumption level along with a rise in their disposable income. Let's look at some other factors that affect our consumption and savings behavior. 1. The level of disposable income. The level of disposable income is the basic determinant of how much households will consume or save. All things being equal, an increase in disposable income will increase consumption expenditure slash saving and vice versa. 2. Total household indebtedness. Debts are paid with current income. If in an economy's total household debts are huge, there is a likelihood that the current level of consumption expenditure and saving will be low and vice versa. 3. Fiscal Policy Changes in fiscal policy in the form of taxation will affect the consumption function. For example, increased taxation will adversely affect the consumption function by reducing the disposable income of the people and vice versa. 4. Wealth This refers to the stock of accumulated purchasing power stored up from the past. For example, savings done in the past can be used to finance current consumption. The higher an economy's wealth, all other things being equal, the higher will be current consumption. 5. Expectations Households' anticipation regarding future prices of goods, their nominal income, and the availability of goods may have an impact on their current spending. The anticipation of rising prices and product shortages tend to cause more spending and less saving, and vice versa. 6. Inflation in an economy, the higher the level of inflation, the lower the volume of savings and vice versa. Finally, both objective and subjective factors influence our consumption and savings function. Tax policy, interest rate, windfall profit or loss and holding of assets are some objective functions. Whereas subjective ones relate to motives of foresight, precaution, avarice, and improvement amongst individuals. How about you? Which of the factors mentioned affect your consumption and savings behavior?